You've probably been there or you might still be there. You set out to attain a certain rank, win a certain number of games in a session, or set out to reach top 8 in a local tournament and... Well, you just can't do it. Whether you're a veteran player or you just freshly jumped on the FTC hype train, no matter how long you've been playing, you have set goals or have goals set for you that you were just not able to reach or maybe still aren't. So, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with these losses and stop yourself from giving up? For that, I want to introduce you guys to two of my friends. These friends are Gon and Killua from the anime series Hunter x Hunter. Both are 12 years old, which in anime protagonist terms means they are of course incredibly, incredibly strong. These two are set to challenge Natura, who, being an elderly man, is just above them in strength. Their goal? They need to take the ball from this old man, by any means necessary, in a time limit of 9 hours. The catch of course being, that this old man is incredibly quick, strong and smart, making this an impossible task. The two boys quickly become aware of this fact, and within a few hours, realise that all of their continued attempts at trying to beat him are futile. It is here that his anime teaches us not only how to deal with losses, but how to avoid ever losing in the first place. Kilawai is like we are right now, or like we have been for a long time. He knows this is, this is impossible, or that he currently can't do it, and after multiple tries and attempts, he decides to give up. However, our friend Gon has a different idea in mind. Knowing that he cannot win, he will no longer focus on this. Gon will now try to make his opponent use his right hand. In other words, he will try to give his opponent the toughest fight that he himself is able to give him right now. Nearing the end of the time limit, and at the end of Gon's physical abilities, he finally manages to make Natero use his right hand. <laughs> this is the face of someone who's been completely destroyed. He lost, yet he managed to reach his own goals. So what can we learn from this? Well, one thing, namely, if you can't win, you need to set a new goal. When I first started getting into fighting games, I started with Tekken, a notoriously difficult game. So after losing a lot, or in any case, not winning a bunch, I switched my objectives around. As long as I got my opponent's health bar down to his last 50, 40, 30, 20%, as long as I did my best and gave my opponent a real challenge, I was content. Moving on and getting better, I moved my goal to punish all moves I knew how to punish, no matter if I won or not. In other games, I set my goal to landing a certain amount of NTS converting certain moves into the combos I had practiced, or to try certain Okizemi options or frame trap tools I had trained with. And guess what? Shifting goals and working on things I could feasibly achieve not only made me happier and less frustrated, but working on these things made me actively better at these games. I would end up combining goals into play a solid set, enter uh, whenever you can and punish the moves you know how to punish. After, go for Okizemi or frame traps, you know, the things you'd practice. I by no means am a great player in all fighting games I've played, but this mindset got me into the upper red ranks of Tekken, something I was really happy with. And this mindset has gotten me to enjoy many other games, even if I'm by no means at a quote-unquote high level. Because I know that as long as I have my own goals to work on, I'll be having fun. And as long as I'm having fun working on these goals, I will be getting better. If you know any new players who have been struggling with their losses, try helping them set new goals for themselves. Or, 
If you yourself find that you get frustrated upon losing, can't seem to win a certain matchup, or get brought to tears at another no and two, try to change your goals, even just a little, just so that winning isn't your one and only aim. Aim to anti air at least 75% of their jumpings. Recognize and punish at least half of their unsafe moves that keep messing you up. Whatever you do, don't just let your losses be losses, and don't just let your wins, you know, just be wins. Aim for something, get better, achieve it, and aim for something higher, and achieve that as well. And in the end, who knows? You might even be able to catch that ball. Thank you all so much for watching. The last few videos have been so much fun to make, and to see them get the attention they got truly is amazing. To all 32 of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. It might not seem like a lot, but you guys can fit a classroom, and unlike my own students, you all seem to be here of your own volition, and I'm really grateful and happy to have you. I want to keep making videos with a positive spin or general vibe, to quell the, you know, sometimes negative air surrounding the FUC. I love reading your comments and feedback, so if you have an idea for a future video or anything you would like me to approve upon, don't hesitate putting it in the comments. Oh, and of course, also, don't forget to subscribe to your favourite YouTuber, which is me. Thanks again! Bye! Yeah.